Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to YouTube channel of the SPC Tourists. As you all know, my name is Dr. Joseph. Please, as you are watching this video, and don't to subscribe, like, share, and comment. In today's video, we shall be discussing ecological succession in biology. What is the meaning of ecological succession? Let me write on the board, okay? This is the process. that involves all right that involves the natural gradual and orderly changes or replacements of plants and animal of different let me use that word it is okay an orderly change an orderly changes or replacements of different species of plants and animal communities animal communities in an area in an area over a period of time over a period of time until until the condition of the area is is gradually modified is gradually modified by the activities of the organisms by the activities of the organisms until until a stable or balanced or balanced or equilibrium or Climax community is reached or attained or established. So, this is the complete meaning of what? Ecological word, succession. I said. This is a process that involves the natural, it occurs naturally, the natural, gradual, and what? Orderly changes. The, 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 the changes that, that occur during this section is actually sequential, or it is what? Orderly. Or replacement of different species of plants, yes, and animals. Animals community in an area over a period of what time? So which means that succession occurs within a period of time. It can take a shorter time or thousands of what years until the condition of the area is gradually what modified by the activities of the organisms until a stable or balanced or equilibrium or climax community is reached or attained or established which means that the reason behind ecological succession is to attain what is called what climax community if i don't call it climax i'll call it what balanced if i don't call it balanced i'll call it what stable if i don't call it stable i'll call it what equilibrium okay so the the natural gradual and orderly change or replacement of different species of plant animal communities in an area over a period of time 
until the condition of this area of this area is what gradually modified by the activities of the organism to attain a stable or climax or equilibrium or what balanced what community the reason behind this obsession is to bring about what a balanced community and you call that what climax community so that this is the meaning of what ecological succession which you must understand properly so it takes some period of time it could be months years or thousands of years as the case may be all right so on a broad note there are two types of succession on a broad note there are two types mm -hmm. on a broad note we have one that is types of Secession, all right. You have one primary succession and two secondary now what is the new primary succession? It is a type of succession that occurs in an area that hasn't or that wasn't colonized all right in other words to say it is that was that occurs in an area that is devoid that is devoid of of what soil all right the type of succession that occurs in an area that is devoid of soil of soil is called the primary succession or i can also say that Primary succession is the type of succession that occurs in an area that is devoid of what vegetables. Alright? Or it is the type of succession that occurs in a bare land. Bare land. This word bare means what? Open. Open word. Land. Alright? I'll take it again. Primary succession is a type of succession that occurs in an area that is devoid of soil, vegetables, and occurs in a bare land or open world land. Which means that this, the organisms that carry out this type of succession, all right, they do not have. Okay, now, how do I put it now? You we've established that it occurs in a in a land that has that is devoid of soil, is devoid of vegetables and. A land that is bare or open. Now, what are some examples? Okay, where? Okay, what results? Good. What actually results to this type of succession? Now, hurricane. Hurricane can actually result to it. Two, landslides can result to it. Three, extreme droughts can result to it. Volcanoes can result, result to it, that is volcanic eruption, let me see what, let me see that adjective, volcanic eruption, alright, you have five, uh, tornadoes, I'm busy, so these are the factors that contribute to primary succession, okay, hurricane, landslides, uh, Extreme drought, volcanic eruption, and what? Tornadoes. These are the factors that contribute to what? Primary succession. Now, what are the places or where do you find this primary succession? Alright, it is found in ponds. It can occur in ponds. Alright, two, it can occur in the estuary. Alright, it can occur in a swamp forest. All right. It can also occur on uh, surfaces of rocks. All right. So these are the places where you have this type of session load occurring: pond, estuary, swamp forest, a lot, rock surfaces. Take note of that. Now, for an organism to adapt to the rock of uh, to the surface of rocks, what does that mean? What does that mean? So please, please, 
the first species of the first species that are able to colonize a devoid that, that, that is that are able to uh, colonize an area that is devoid of cell are called what early colonizers or pioneers the species that are able to adapt or survive an area or that are able to colonize an area of land that is devoid of soil, having no vegetables occurring on bare land, are called what? Early colonizers or what? Pioneers. Now, for these organisms to actually survive in this kind of environment, all right, it means they have some striking adaptive what? characteristics. One, they require minimal soil. They require what? Minimal soil or substratum. They require minimal soil or what? Str uh, substratum. And two, uh, they are highly drought resisting organisms you see they are able to withstand what drought number three these organisms are actually they have high adaptive features they have high adaptive features all right four they are usually small species all right they are usually what small species examples of plants that can actually carry out primary section are the fence agate agate um fungus all of these are able to carry out carry out primary succession even liverwort mosses liverwort mosses liverworts are able to carry out what? primary succession that is because they have high adaptive features and they require minimal soil for them to actually adapt their environment please take note of that it is very very important now, what are the striking features of primary succession? I've given us the names of organisms that are able to carry this succession. They are called early colonizers or pioneers. Okay, and uh, secondly, primary succession with the fact that it occurs in an area that is devoid of cell. All right, it means that it requires thousands of years for them to actually attain a climax what community it, uh, it's that is it involves thousands of years right, for them to actually attain establish or get what climax community or stable type of what community now we now have second succession what does it mean it is a type of succession that that occurs in an in a in an area of land that has been that has been what colonized or that was colonized which means that second succession occurs in an area that has some quantities of soil and what vegetables all right it occurs in an abandoned farm land and also what grasslands all right it occurs in a uh, sorry it occurs in an abandoned farmland and what grass land therefore second succession requires a, 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 a shorter period of what time for these organisms to actually completely colonize the abandoned land take note of that it is very very important i say it occurs in an abandoned farmland and what grass lands take note of that so, secondary succession, primary succession, result to what? Climax community. It is very, very important. 
for the organisms to actually colonize bare land or a land that is devoid of soil, it means that they must have they must have high adaptive features and they require minimum or little soil or substratum. Okay, and these organisms are actually smaller species, ferns, algae, fungus, and what uh, mosses as well as what liverwort. They are called early colonizers or what pioneers. Take note of that. Now, during the process of colonizing the bell land, right, during the process of colonizing the bell land, some of these organisms will die. Right? Some, of, some of these organisms may die. As soon as they die, what happens? They are able to add nutrients to the soil. Once nutrients is added to the soil, that gives uh, open space for more organisms to come in. So that will lead us to primary succession in the estuary. Let me quickly say a very short, uh, a very short introduction. How does it occur in? How does primary succession occur in the estuary? You know that the estuary is the mouth of, is the mouth of, a river. It is the mouth of what? A river where. It enters into the sea or ocean. You know we have three types of we have three types of aquatic habitat. We have the freshwater habitat. We have the brackish water water habitat, and we have what the marine habitat. Now the fresh freshwater habitat has little quantity of what salt. So you say it has low salinity. That is the one we drink fresh water. Now the second one is a brackish water which has a higher quantity of what? Salt. It's not drinkable. And the third one is the marine habitat. Where marine water has the highest quantity of what? Salt in it. So you say it has the highest degree of what? Salinity. Take note of that. The, air, the estuary, I said, has high, high quantity of what? Salt and what? Flooding. Due to what? Tide. Due to tide that what happens. The mouth of a river where it enters into the sea or, or ocean is called what? Estuary. The estuarine has a, a high quantity of what? Salt. All right. Okay. It has a higher quantity of salt than the fresh water than the fresh water but marine has the highest quantity of what salt take note of that now how does this type of session occur in this estuary first and first red mangrove the red mangrove is able to colonize this area how does it happen what happens is that the red mangrove begin to develop seedlings we begin to develop what seedlings and these seedlings of course they are found growing on the parent plant on the red mangrove now there's a, it will get to a point where these seedlings we fall to the mud all right we fall to the mud as soon as these seedlings get to the mud all right they germinate As soon as they germinate, they undergo a series of growths to form what? Sealed, stilt roots. These stilt roots uh, anchors, anchors them to the soil. It anchors them to the soil. As soon as this stilt root is formed, as the process of growth continues, there is formation of what? Strong roots. There's motion of what? Strong roots. Red mangrove will develop seedlings. Seedlings will break off and fall into what? Mud. Inside the mud, the what? Germinate, forming what is called what? Stilt roots, which anchors them to the soil. And as the growth continues, stronger roots is what? Formed. 
Then after this red mangrove, this red mangrove is now replaced by the white mangrove. It's replaced by the white mangrove. Now, this white mangrove has nomatopause roots. Or nomatopause. All right. Now, this nomatopause formed in this white mangrove, all right, gives rise. All right. Okay. This red mangrove that has replaced the, this uh, this white mangrove that has replaced the red mangrove mm -hmm, begin to form what is called what, open forests. Inside the open forest, you now have what herbs. Herbs will begin to what germinate. After the germination of after the growing of the herbs, all right, you now have accumulated dead and decaying dead and decaying what fauna and flora now these dead and decaying parts of uh, fauna and flora are found accumulated on the nomatopause the nomatopause are called what the breathing root of the plant all right as the cycle continues, as the cycle continues, what happens? You know flora are plants, fauna are what? Animals. Now some flora will begin to germinate or grow on the surface of this nomatopause root. Please take note, herbs. After the formation of herbs, herbs are now being replaced by what is called what? Shrubs. All right. After shrubs, you now have what? Grasses. All right. Then after grasses, you now have uh, taller trees. You now okay. Let me use the word epiphyte. You have epiphytes. Mm -hmm. Epiphyte. So please take note of that. It is very important. It does not stop there. Now that you are you you get to see shrubs, you get to see herbs. Herbs are non-woody plants. Shrubs are woody plants. That is that is the difference between shrubs and what herbs. Now grasses have started growing. Shrubs are there. Herbs are there. What do you expect? The first organism or the first animal that colonizes the uh, mangrove, white mangrove, are the flying insects. The flying insects. Are the first species of animals to colonize what the white mangrove that is the white or the swamp the swampy forest after the flying insects evolved what now we now have what the water bed the water bed are the second animals to occupy the white mangrove or the white swampy what forest because this white this uh, water birds they feed on the flying insect. Then after which you now have crabs. You have snakes. Alright, you have monkeys. Right, you have monkeys, you have uh, rodents. They begin to what? Evolve. Alright, so the, 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 the evolvements of these uh, shrubs, grasses and others will result to what? Formation of what? Open forests. We are more organisms will begin to what? Set in. Take note of that. It is very, very important. So at this point, you call it a day. Thanks for watching. Do have a wonderful day. Now your assignment is to state how secondary succession occurs in, in an abandoned in an abandoned word, farmland. That is what your assignment. How does it happen in an abandoned word, farmland? At this point, you call it a day. Thanks for watching. Do have a wonderful day.